Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Grand Turk. So we are at our next stop on the cruise trip. Keep swimming, just keep swimming, swim. In today's video, this will be your complete guide so you know what to expect the next time you're on a cruise trip and you find yourself at Grand Turk. Grand Turk is a very small island. The Grand Turk Cruise Center is the only cruise port in Turks and Caicos. So let's get our summer vibes going at Grand Turk and enjoy the day. When you get off the ship, there are two sides, the right side and the left side. Pretty much everyone goes to the left side and that is probably the best place to be. On the right side, there is way too much rocks and it will be much harder to swim. If you want to get a free chair, the best thing to do is wake up early. They do make it very convenient for you with a short walk to the beach from the ship, but it can get very crowded. First area on the right side, all the chairs are free. If you go further down, they will be charged. The guy said it was $40 for two chairs and an umbrella. So make sure you get off as fast as you can. We did come in at 12 o'clock and there was already a ship here. I don't know what time they got here. So most of the chairs were full, so we had to wait a little bit and then we got a spot. But the water looks beautiful, so let's go right into it and not waste any time. When you come in, there's a little port area, there's shops and stuff like that, but we'll check that all out later. With all the rocks, I expected snorkeling to be a little bit better. I didn't see too much. There was a few fish here and there. Make sure when you are walking, you go slow. The further out you go, there are rocky holes all around. First half of the day done at the beach. The chairs actually kept, people would leave and come, people would leave and come. So it wasn't too hard of, of an issue to find. It wasn't too hard to find chairs, but I do recommend coming in early. One thing though, someone tried to steal my Crocs and I had them, I had them under the chair and I was looking for them. Like, where'd they go? And then I was walking towards the beach and I saw these pair on the side and I was like, are those mine? And then this guy's like, it's like, oh, he's like, oh, I thought they were my cousins. You left them by the beach. And I didn't leave them by the beach. I know for sure I left some of the chair, but anyway. Now we're gonna walk around the little port area and see all the little shops and everything like that. This beach is kind of like a puzzle because you have to find the patches that are a little, little sandy. Because if you just walk, it's like all rocks. You gotta find the patches of sand over there. But uh, the water is beautiful and it is snorkel a little bit, nothing too crazy. Not, a, not the best snorkeling port, but uh, there is a few little fish here and there. But uh, too many rocks, too many rocks, very crowded beach. This one was okay, but of course the water is still beautiful. Very windy day, we're gonna walk here. So on the right side, you can also go swimming, but it's even, it's even worse. There's more rocks, which we're gonna go see now. But today's port date is 12 to 7 p.m. This is a Margaritaville restaurant if you're hungry, or you can get back on the ship, it's so close. That's the one perk about this port stop. If you wanna get on and off the ship, it's so close. Easy walk, very convenient. And there's a pool, Margaritaville offers a free pool too. Just Margaritaville in the Caribbean. Very nice pool. If you're looking to enjoy some food and some drinks, there are two restaurants with easy access. You can go to Margaritaville, and if you go further down on the beach, there is Jack's Shack. We walked around the stores to see what they have. They got about 15 chain retail stores and duty-free outlets. They do have a Starbucks, for those of you that are addicted to Starbucks. They also have this craft market where you can get shells and, and other typical stuff that you would see on the islands. Did you know that in 1962, Grand Turk played a part in the Mercury space mission? John Glenn's first step on dry land after returning to Earth was on Grand Turk. There is a John Glenn display that has a statue and a replica of the space capsule. Pretty cool, something to check out. I weighed 3,000 pounds. Space inside is very tight. What, he went in that?
on the right side when you come out on, there's nobody here but you can't swim here there's no really beach access but if you want to just come relax with nobody here's a spot and there's food over here a restaurant on this side too also nearby is a statue of a whale I didn't know this but apparently whale watching at Grand Turk during the winter months is a thing So yeah, pretty much on this side you got the restaurant, you got the beached whale if you want to take a picture with and a nice view of the ships on this side too, but swimming, you're definitely going to want to stick to the left side. We found this little ice cream place tucked away in the back, so we decided to give it a try. We got a milkshake and it was very refreshing and very good. It was pistachio. Leo, is it good? <laughs> more? Say more. <laughs> I think Leo liked it. This was a small and it was $9, so very, very overpriced. If you want to avoid this area, you definitely can take an excursion. You can go to another beach. The one I heard people talking about was Governor's Beach. Next time, I probably would check that out. I love how convenient everything is, but I didn't love how rocky the water was. Overall, we had a good day, and now it's time to go back on the ship. So let's go see what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. Getting ready to go, you know the drill, the cruise life. Come back from the beach, get ready for dinner. <laughs> come, come, come on. Here, come. What do you got? What'd you buy at the store today? Yeah. What's that? What is that? Oh. Huh? That's your ornament. Oh. That's what you bought last night. Don't let him throw it overboard. The time of the day is food time. For the appetizer, I forgot exactly what it is, but I think it was a shrimp and crab bisque. Next up was the lamb, it was very good. And then the beef wellington, one of my favorite dishes that I had on this trip. It was delicious. For dessert, it was chocolate cheesecake and a creme brulee. Cheesecake was good, creme brulee was just meh. After a long day at the beach, it's time to sleep. You always have a great sleep after a long day at the beach in the sun. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.